In this video, we will be practicing predicting the charges of ions, writing their symbols, coming up with their names, and then determining how many protons and electrons they have. Before we get started on this video, I wanna remind you of a couple of things that I have gone over in previous videos. So first of all, the name of an ion depends on whether that ion is positively charged or negatively charged. When we have a positively charged ion, like this guy right here, its name is almost identical to the name of the atom. We just add the word ion at the end. So this sodium ion is our way of indicating the positively charged ion of the sodium atom. When we have an anion, a negatively charged ion like these guys, we actually change the ending of the atom's name. So nitrogen becomes nitride, oxygen becomes oxide. So that's one thing that we have to keep in mind. The second thing that I want to remind you of is that the number of protons in an atom does not change when it becomes an ion. Only the number of electrons changes. So an oxygen atom has eight protons, and when the oxygen atom becomes an ion, it still has eight protons. That number won't change. The only thing that will be changing is the number of electrons. So with those two reminders, let's go ahead and get started. For the um, first one, the first row that actually needs us to put information in, we are working with the sodium ion. Because it's called the sodium ion, we know that it is going to be a positively charged ion of some sort. To determine the number of protons in a sodium ion, we need to go to the periodic table and find the sodium atom. The sodium atom is located right here. Its atomic number is 11, which means it has 11 protons. 11 protons with 10 electrons means that we have a plus one charge. And our symbol for that will be the symbol for the sodium atom with a superscript plus sign. When the charge is plus one or minus one, it is conventional for us to just write plus. It is not common for us to write one plus, although that's okay if you would like to write it that way, it's just not as common. For our next example, we have nitride. The symbol is N3 minus. We know that this is a negatively charged ion because the ending is in ide and also because we can see it right here. The charge on this ion is three minus. To determine the number of protons and electrons, we're gonna start with protons. We're gonna go to the periodic table, find nitrogen. Nitrogen is located here. Its atomic number is seven, which means it has seven protons. How are we gonna figure out how many electrons it has? Well, we know it has a minus three charge. This charge tells us that it has three more electrons than protons. So the number of electrons is seven plus three, which is a total of 10. It is not a coincidence that we have a lot of ions that have the exact same number of electrons. Remember in the last video, I was telling you that the atoms like to ionize in a way that will make them match their nearest noble gas. So here we're looking at three atoms that are all going to end up with the exact same number of electrons when they form ions. So 10 is, is kind of like a magic number for ions. Here's our next example. We know that we have 20 protons and 18 electrons. We have two more protons than electrons. So this is a two plus ion, two more protons, two more positively charged particles. Which ion is this? Well, we have the uh, number of protons, which is 20. That's our atomic number. Let's go find 20. 20 is calcium. So let's copy that down uh, over here. Calcium with a two plus charge. Because this is a cation, its name is calcium ion. Here we have the symbol Br. We can see that the charge is a minus one. This is telling us that we have 35 protons. With a minus one charge, we have 36 electrons. We have one more electron than proton. That's what gives us the minus one charge. Br 
atom is bromine. So as an ion, we would call this bromide. Again, we're changing that ending to ide because it's a negatively charged ion, an anion. Here's our next example, 26 protons with a two plus charge. The two plus charge tells us that we have extra protons. So that means we must have 24 electrons. We have two more protons than electrons. What's the symbol? What's the name? We need to find 26 on the periodic table. 26 is iron, symbol is Fe. So the symbol here is Fe with a two plus. And for now, we're just gonna call this the iron ion. I do want to let you know that we are gonna have to make some changes to the way that we're naming this ion. We'll deal with that in a few videos. It's not just simply iron ion. We're gonna to need to add some more information in here, but this is good enough for now. Our next example, we have, whoa, we have zero electrons and a plus one charge. This is crazy. Zero electrons with a plus one charge. So how many protons are there? Well, the plus one charge tells us that there are more protons than electrons. There's specifically one more proton than electron. So this is a one proton, zero electron, plus one ion. Who is this ion? Let's go find the periodic table. One proton is hydrogen right there. So this is H plus, and we call this hydrogen ion. Here's our next example. All that we have is the symbol Ba2 plus. This tells us we have a plus two charge. Ba is the symbol for barium. So this is the barium ion. In order to figure out how many protons there are, we need to go find barium on the periodic table. Barium is right here, 56 protons, 56 protons. And with a plus two charge, that tells us that we have two more protons than we have electrons. Our next example, hydride with a two electrons. Hydride tells us that this is a negatively charged particle. Hydride is the anion of hydrogen. How many protons do we have in hydrogen? Hydrogen, we actually just worked with hydrogen. Hydrogen has one proton. So one proton with two electrons. This is a one minus charge. So this is the hydride ion. Notice something kind of unusual. Hydrogen is capable of forming either a cation or an anion, a positively charged or negatively charged ion. Um, and that's something that is special about hydrogen. We've got two more examples. Here we have P3 minus. We know that we have 18 electrons with a three minus charge. That tells us that we have three more electrons than protons. So that means we must have 15 protons. P is the symbol for phosphorus. This is a negatively charged ion. So this is phosphide. Remember for the negatively charged ions, we change the ending of the atom's name to ide. And here's our last example, 13 protons with 10 electrons. That is a three plus charge. Who is this atom? Let's go find 13 protons on the periodic table. 13 is aluminum. So our symbol is Al3+, and this guy's name is aluminum ion.